Welcome back friends to Top 10 Gaming. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss a moment on all things gaming. Plus, leave us a comment down below with what games you'd love to see us cover a creepypasta video on next. With that, let's get to the scariest Animal Crossing creepypastas. Number 5, Dead Town. This creepypasta is based on a story written by an unknown author on the Some Ordinary Gamers wiki page for Animal Crossing. It's about a new neighbor in his Animal Crossing town and some friends that go missing along the way. After picking up a copy of Animal Crossing New Leaf for his 3DS, he began quickly playing the game. They surprisingly played through the tutorial and payback of the loan to the raccoon portion at a very rapid pace. This gave them the free time to explore a little more, except they noticed something odd. It appeared as though a mysterious neighbor by the name of Reaper had been building a house beside them. Except the only thing for days was the front entrance to the home. After saving and continuing to play the next day, the gamer noticed that the residents of the town seemed sad and kept saying that a character named Delhi was missing. One by one, residents began to go missing as well as the mysterious neighbor's home was being built. To their shock, when they investigated the missing residents' homes, our protagonists found them to be completely destroyed. Before quitting again for the day, they noticed this robed figure would peek its head out of the reaper's home each time. The next day, when they would start the game, more and more residents would go missing and even more damage was done to the town. Having enough of this, they decided to confront this mysterious neighbor. Except when they walked into the home, they were in utter shock as they witnessed the limbs and dismembered parts of the residents hanging on the walls. Before they could react, the door behind them shut and standing in front of them was the reaper. It was that man that was dressed in the rope. The reaper simply said, do you like my decorations? I caught them all myself. They wanted to leave, but every time they tried, the reaper would say, Leaving so soon? The party has only just begun. Welcome to Dead Town. Number 4, Uninvited Guest. This creepypasta is based on a story written by an unknown author on the creepypasta wiki page for Animal Crossing. It's about a protagonist who, while mayor of his town in Animal Crossing, experiences an odd new resident who arrives on the train. The train rolled in with no warning and the gamer just chalks it up to being a glitch at first. However, this drifter wore a jester mask, a starry shirt, and in their hands was a golden net. They tried to chat with them, but no response came from this mysterious character. The gamer then tried to run into the masked man with his net, hopefully Hopefully to provoke some reaction, but instead the character just followed them around, planting black roses wherever he went. When they were hit with this mysterious person's net, their screen would go black and then an error screen would pop up on the page. They decided it must be a glitch and acted accordingly by saving and restarting their game. However, to their surprise, this masked man was now on the loading screen for the game and it appeared to be staring right at him. Now, face to face again with this terrifying glitch resident, they knew that there was no attack modes in this game. Even the axe would bounce off people when used. They attempted at restarting yet again to be only met with this terrifying masked man to be peering deep into their soul as the game loaded. This time the man was chasing his character with a golden axe and when they tried to run they got caught on the branch of a tree. The mysterious character swung the axe at the gamer resulting in the screen to go black yet again. And when restarting their 3DS they only had the option to start a new game. Almost as if this vigilante had killed their previous character. Number 3, You Did This. This creepypasta is based on a story written by a user named Sidot. When Animal Crossing loaded up, they could tell something was seriously wrong almost immediately. The background was inverted with black and red, and it randomly chose a home for them, and yet there were no animals walking around or even music for that matter. A text box then appeared with three options, run, away, and now. They simply chose run and from there they finally saw that their character appeared. They seemed sad and as they walked something crawled out of the ground. A text box flashed that said they are all gone. The screen then flashed white and suddenly they were beside Tom Nook's shop. Upon exploring the shop they found Tom laying on the table. There was a huge knife sticking out of his fluffy stomach. Shocked by this the player screamed and in creepypasta fashion the game responded. A text box appeared that read why are you frightened? You did this. Their screen then began flashing black and red rapidly back and forth. Everything in the game was dying. In a blood red pond, every resident had suffered the same fate as poor Tom. Again, this game accused him of doing this and even his character turned to face him, almost looking directly at him as it said, I'm sorry, you should have never seen this. You're so young. I never wanted you to know. Please throw away the memory. Burn this CD for us. Please get us out of here. The protagonist did just that. They deleted the game, but 
as they went to eject the disc, the console began smoking and when turning their gaze to the screen, it flashed over all of the dead residents. A final text box appeared that said, remember, you did this. Number 2, A Fatal Error. This next creepypasta is based on a story called Eric Town, written by Max LeFou. When our protagonist purchased Animal Crossing Wild World off eBay for only a dollar, he was excited to say the least. When the package arrived though, the sending address just had the word Eric written on it with no address or even a last name for that matter. To make him more concerned, the title screen showed a simple village with the neighbors and all, but the sky was red blood red. And when they hit start, they noticed that the previous owner's save file was still on and the game was simply called Eric Town. However, all four of the player slots were taken and the names were Turn, Back, or Die. There wasn't even an option to delete a town so the player chose Turn. And upon trying to enter his home, he was met with a disturbing text box that read Die. When he turned, he noticed that a familiar neighbor by the name of KK Slider was walking around without his guitar and his eyes were just a black void. KK began chasing our protagonist and when he started to run from him, he noticed that clones of KK Slider were appearing everywhere. When they finally caught up to him, the screen became distorted and his speakers let out a horrible screech. The gamer reset his DS and decided to choose a different save. This time the turn option was gone so he selected back. The same thing happened again, he was chased by a creepy neighbor, except this time when they yelled die, they said die Eric. Again, he reset, and with the first two options gone as well, he continued by hitting OR. This time in a demonic voice and with the same text bubble, he heard the word DIE over and over and over again. Lastly at our number one spot, Burn With Them. This final creepypasta is based on a story called Rosie and was written by an unknown author. It begins with our protagonist who while at a GameStop looking for Animal Crossing ends up getting a used copy with a very troubling story attached. Apparently the previous owner belonged to a young girl who was killed in a fire. Somehow the game was preserved and when found by firefighters the parents decided to get rid of it. This girl was addicted to Animal Crossing and it's the reason she lost her life. Our gamer in this story though didn't care because they too were addicted to playing the game and only sought out a new copy after losing their old one. When they get home though, the gamer notices that there's a continue option and wanting to see how far the previous owner was, they clicked on it. I mean, if this little girl was indeed addicted to the game, she must have been pretty far. Everything was a mess as you would expect, oddly though, there was mail, like real mail in the mailbox and when they checked it there was a, a letter written by someone by the name of Sadie. She writes, my world is a mess, can you fix it? There wasn't any neighbors or characters by the name of Sadie so this had to be that little girl. She was using the game to contact the living protagonist through Animal Crossing. Creeped out by this they reset the game and started a new save. They played for a while and then they went to sleep and the next day though when they came home from school, our protagonist finds her little sister sitting in front of the 3DS. Not touching it, but talking to it. She was talking to Sadie. Her sister turned and said, Sadie is mad at you. She said we will end up like her if you don't fix her world. At least, that's what the mother claims in the newspaper article I read. I mean, the house had electrical issues and a spark ignited that was covering the home in flames. The mother says that she banged on her daughter's bedroom door begging for them to come out, but she could only hear them talking about this game Animal Crossing. It's as if they were so sucked in they, they couldn't hear her mother's cries for help. And all they found in the ashes of the home was that damn Animal Crossing game. Rumor has it if you find this copy, now three dead girls haunt that game. And if you play it, you too are stuck playing it every day or you will burn with it. And that has been the scariest Animal Crossing crew you passed us. Thank you for watching it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Plus, leave us a comment down below with which one scared you the most. And if you happen to be new here, hit that subscribe button before you leave. Plus, if you're craving any more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist on the screen. From Top 10 Gaming, I'm Johnny Rogers, and until next time, take care.